Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Uh, this is the demo for Prey. This is a game coming out May 5th. Uh, it's developed by Arcane, the guys that are behind uh, the Dishonored franchise. And this is being published by Bethesda. Uh, they recently reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to do a sponsored video of the demo. And I was like, well, I'm going to cover it anyway, so this is fantastic. Um, now, there's a couple of things that I want to cover off just before we jump in here. Uh, this demo is the first hour of gameplay, and it's available on the Xbox One and the PS4. Uh, as of April 27th. No demo on the PC as of yet, but they are releasing the game on PC, and that's probably the platform that I will play it on. Um, Prey does take place on this research facility called Talos 1, where apparently we are some... We're part of some experiment to really advance mankind, but something has gone terribly wrong, and it's been taken over by some type of alien threat. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to run into it in the demo, but one of the cool things is that in the full game, you're going to be able to gain abilities from some of the different aliens that you run into aboard the station and be able to use those abilities to fight back. So that's really intriguing for me. It'll be interesting to see how that actually changes uh, the overall approach to the game. Um, and the, I guess in terms of the approach, like this is not a, a linear experience. This is a, an open environment and you can complete things in any way that you want to. And uh, I think, I think this could be pretty fun. I'm excited to see what they did because I really enjoyed Dishonored and this is going to be more of like a horror first person shooter kind of approach. So I'll put all the links in the description below so you can click on those to get any information that you might want. Okay, so we can play as male or female. You know, let's take the female option. Now we're entering your apartment. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got a pretty nice place. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. So, okay. Press the button to open your transcribe. Uh, I notice his last name is Yu. Alex Yu. And we are Morgan Yu, as indicated by our suit. Um, I'm not sure which relation. Maybe father, but... Alex convinced me I'm going to join him aboard the Talos 1 space station. The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. Plus, he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board the shuttle. Put on your Transtar uniform, which is in your apartment. Nothing in the inventory and no data yet. Okay. So, oh, actually, we can even, without searching inside, we can take whatever we need. Plastic tubing, frayed wires. Neuromod application instructions. Warning, neuromods should only be administered by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterwards. Remove neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Keep eye open, depress orange, release trigger, and continue to hold Neuromod against eye for five minutes. Dispose of used Neuromod in provided biohazard bag. Yeah, okay. That's that sounds painful. May as well grab everything that we can. What else do we have here? Speech Synthesis and Natural Language Generation. It's an excerpt from Chapter 3, written by Sebastian Smythe. Voice, conver or voice conversion technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices, without the need for exhaustive recordings and pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversion function and limitations in processing power. 
Okay. Last night's pizza and wine. Seems like we've had a very active social life. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. It seems like we're very, like, self-aware, self-taught in a lot of areas. Um, let's check the computer, I suppose. Transtar employee workstations often contain useful information, files, and utilities. Okay, lock stations require a password. Search the environment for clues or use the hacking ability to bypass the login. Okay, so there is a hacking thing. Workstations may contain email files to download or special utilities. We've got three emails here. Congrats and welcome. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. Thomas Tucker, aboard the Talos One Research Facility, Human Resources. Delivery. This is from Alex, the guy that we spoke to. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uh, uniform, transcribe, and a Neuromod. Install the Neuromod right away, as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. So no indication of what relation we are, but again, last names are the same. Ready? Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. Oh, maybe brother. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. It's got to be brother then. Uh, but they said their best. Or they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go, that's mom. Anyway, everything, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon. Morgan from Alex. I just want to see what else is going on in our... Apartment condo thing. Encyclopedia of Food, Science, and Cooking. Transglutaminase, TG, a naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, and bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein containing foods together and in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls, known colloquially by chefs as meat glue. Chef's tip gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. It's good. Nothing inside the cabinets. Um, pomegranate. Green tea. I figure we might as well take everything that we can. What do we have down here? Heart of the walk. Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before. Now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal it is tasked to cook. I wonder if that's uh, foreshadowing of some kind. Presumably with the stuff that we can eat, there must be ways to... There must be, like, that must be how we manage health. Congrats, Morgan, from Alex. He's, like, all about this. The method sigh. What if I told you I could turn you to a mathematician on this level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind. But it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in this chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Okay, these Neuromods, I'm interested. Like, we have a really nice place. Do we need any of these? No. An account of Fermi's question. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? Perhaps we'll find out. Okay, let's put on the uniform.
Get your helicopter on the roof. Okay, well, um, presumably, oh. Morning, Miss Yu. Hey, Patricia, what are you working on? Heard there's a chopper on the roof. <laughs> Must be for you. Yeah, it's a, it's a normal <laughs> ride, I guess. <laughs> X to jump, L3 to sprint, <laughs> crouch or slide <laughs> while sprinting. Okay. We're on the 45th floor, not bad. Echelon Residential Tower. Shall we? Ms. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. Oh, cool. Degrees. Clear skies all the way. Oh, that's really smart. As the software presents. A movie called Transgressions. Oh, look at that. I love how they did that. That's it's cool. A nice view on the bay there. Arcane Studios production. Pray. All right, here we go. Here we are, Ms. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Thank you. Report to the test center. Transstar. Hello, Dr. Yu. This thing? Yep. Look at this. The last frontier is the human mind, and we are its pioneers, William Yu. Okay, so there's a history in our family. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I'm I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. It looks like some of the electronics, I don't want to say like they're hacked together, but even like um, the little communicator that we had at the beginning and this, there's like a level of polish that isn't quite there for this time in the world. And that kind of, I think, makes sense with how advanced this is compared to like 2017. This would be in, well, not too many years from now. So, if something were to advance this quickly, this is probably My what it would look like. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. Yeah, I don't know if I love Everyone's that. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. Okay, let's go. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Uh, yeah. Hundred and first floor we started on. Everything's pretty much autonomous. Our life basically runs itself. Morgan, finally. Hey, how's it going, Alex?
Hey, you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. <laughs> How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Okay. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. How old are we'll we be in exactly? Orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. He keeps emphasizing to be ourself. The method psi. Okay, that we read this already. Dr. Like Nero mod. What are they testing exactly? Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? One. Okay. Press the red button when you're ready. Remove the boxes from the circle. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Why are they... Well, let's move on to room B, then. She looks confused. What the hell? Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. What? Hit the red button when you're ready to start. I mean, the only thing I could see is hiding behind the chair, unless... We can jump or something, but I don't, we can't reach that height. Behind the chair. Oh no. Hmm. <laughs> Did we pass? Any synaptic register at all? No? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving. <laughs> Head into room C. We're doing marvelous. We can't get in there. That's kind of embarrassing, actually. Did you see we could climb this? Oh, okay. I wonder if, like... Hmm. Oh, very good. No, it's fine. Oh, she's nervous, that girl. I don't know why she's so nervous. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. What? Just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? What is going on? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. Yeah, it is. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. What the? Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Keep Press saying that, the screen but... when you're ready. You're planning a new vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new. <sighs> try something new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. 
Keep going. Yeah, thanks. You've been sent to, sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Depends what the actions were. I would say afraid. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Yeah. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. Oh! You gotta try and save the people you see, but it's like... <sighs> That's an impossible question. Switch tracks. Good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him onto the track would stop the train. I don't think I can will. I don't. I wouldn't willingly want to put people in danger. Like, but these are impossible. <laughs> like, it goes from favorite vacation to would you kill a guy to save five? Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down to five people tied to a track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. In that, <laughs> or push the fat man. In that scenario. If we know that we could stop the train, I guess we would maybe do it. That's tough. Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through. I have no idea what to make of this. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Where's my coffee? It's empty. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What? And this is, like, this is Alex. local. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Alex, what is going on here? Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Wait, what? what? Don't tell me we get that call from him again. What is going on? Look at all this stuff is back. We have six emails though, hold on. Danger, leave now. Leave now from January? Who's January? Yeah, I, something is quite obviously wrong here. I'm going to try and take some food again, just in case we need it. Let's go. What happened here? Okay, we at least have a way to defend ourselves. Maybe we can break the glass? Yep. What? Oh, no way. Okay, so that's... Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. We're actually a live experiment. 
Look at this, activity log, sleeping, wakes up, turns off alarm, checks transcribe on computer various tasks, takes shower, puts on uniform, exits apartment. Just tracking us. But that's February 22nd. What are these utilities here? Wake up call. Whoa. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. I sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Pigeon visuals have been disabled due to a glitch in the render data. Really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Here's the helicopter arrival. And a pigeon test. RE daily tests. So this is from Sylvan, the guy who was doing the testing on us, to Evelyn McCarthy. Uh, if you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones, and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. This is in reply to Evelyn writing to him saying, Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Neuromod installation and removal. That's what we're testing? We're the test for Neuromods? Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. Direct request from both Alex and Morgan. So we're, we know about it? A note about this morning to the Neuromod division. To all. I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elizair and her security team are on high alert and any and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center in his critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. This is from Alex. Stimulation debriefing, observation. Sound stage rules. Absolute silence when stimulation is in progress. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Do not interact with subject off script. Sound stage A reminders. Always reset the position of stage props in the apartment after each test. Replacements for damaged props can be found in the storage area. Be careful not to bump glass when in observation zones. Sound stage B. And that's why our door was... Okay, this is crazy. Uh, the helicopter ride looking glass sequence should only be reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Always return the helicopter to its ready position after being serviced. Simulation labs. Replacement props. Oh, there's the wine that we drink. There's our furniture. Do not open door while simulation is in progress. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? What the- f Whoa! What is that? Uh, pass. Whoa. Okay. The Hephaestus Heffy Twist and Loop Handle Wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel. Use R2 to swing the wrench, press and hold it to charge for maximum damage. Are you kidding? There's organs, shotgun shells, and a mimic tube tumor, but we need this necropsy. Probably some type of skill. Look at this. Well, that kind of changes our perspective on things.
And this is in a different location this time. I should have noticed that. Because it was over here previously. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's just finish checking this side. This will be the other door in the hallway. And both of these lead to the same place. Wait. Why is that upside down? This is the chopper, but it's it's all a simulation. Look how it's like anchored. I don't love that. Scene switching in progress. Is this gonna fail? No, it's not. Okay, scene selection. Authorized scene transition times include when subject MU is inside the elevator, okay, during maintenance operation between test runs, report any technical issues. Rooftop entrance. <laughs> Everything is self-contained. The elevators don't do anything. Test management. Let's check this. Reset the test rooms to current configuration. Test rooms affected A, B, and C. Note about this morning. Okay, this we read this already. Okay, the quick select menu allows you to assign weapons and powers for easy access. Um, assign weapons and powers to the quick select menu by highlighting the items in your inventory, then press triangle to bring up the assign menu. Assign your favorites. Up, down, left. Okay. So if we wanted to... That's to split. Well, maybe we can't assign that, to, but it looks like we could have. Jeez. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Be careful what you pick up? Note about this morning. Morgan's behavior. This is from Bellamy to Zhaolong Hang, which we haven't heard of yet. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated that he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we. Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected. But the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests in debriefings and within the test itself. This is somebody else's Guys. transcribe. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. She's alive and sedated. Well, we're a little bit more than that now. Look at this.
Okay, so we can carry heavier items with another skill called leverage, it looks like. Jeez. All right. Jeez. Can zoom in or zoom out when we have the weapon. Interesting. Another wrench. Oh, we can move people around. Okay, it's going from Transtar to the Echelon roof right before our eyes. That's so cool. Peeling away the panels. Oh, whoa, okay. What? Like multiplies? No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Ah uh, yeah, that would be helpful, thanks. Petri dish samples. Can we not Let's see here. says we can split this, fine, but then it also told us to hold triangle to get this into our into our quick items, but see here we can assign, but these we can't. Alright. Remote manipulation. Maximum entangled. Need some clues to what the hell is happening here. Okay, next week's test will perform. We'll need the room updated to the new test plan. Configurations as follows. Area of effect, copycat, spooky action. Simmons, let us know if anything changes. So it seems like all these tests are maybe to get us to Talos. Or maybe we're on Talos now, actually. I, don't, I have no idea. We already read that. I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center. Grab the key card to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be more of it. Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. Okay. I'm guessing we're on Talos with these... With these mimics being here. So look. These four people should be signed in. Mike Turner signed out. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key cord card or finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. Whoa. Okay, stand-up notes. Reorder tests. Lucia on observatory. Flammability test cancelled indefinitely. Alex wants to meet greet Morgan before the test. Oh no, are you kidding? Okay, well, thankfully, we can fight them if there's just one or two. And I think eventually we'll get guns, um, which would be much better than this wrench. Let's use this to heal up. We 
It said we could find the key card on the guy's body, but haven't seen that. can hear something just scurrying around. Simulation question from Marco Simmons to Alice Aiken. I'll send you the white paper. Okay, let's see what the question was first. What does it say? I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version for now. Gaining a new skill for Manero Mod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible for now to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the Neuro Mod that makes you play piano like Gustav Leitner, It'll reset your brain back to the moment before you installed it. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype Neuromods. That means going way the hell back, hence the apartment sim. User dedicated to their science is all I can say. Okay, this kind of explains maybe a bit about why our brother looks so old. And I was originally thinking that maybe he's our, our father. Um, which is prompting me to ask some of the age questions, but... Okay. So we would need a key card or find another way around. Now this guy, this is Joven, baseball glove, spare parts. Who is the one we saw the email where somebody had the card. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card to his cabin off his body. Okay. Oh, hello. Whoa, again? Jeez. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're going to need a gun. Okay, here's the key card. Okay, personality drift tests. Here are the results from today's personality test. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with previous results. This isn't the first time. I'll let Alex know. So these are the answers that we picked. Not in line with things that we've always said previously, which gets them to think like, why, is, why would she ever answer these differently? At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. Okay, so we saw the reply to that. Have my people been coming to you from Matthias Cole? Don't see this name. Haven't seen this name before. Yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much worse than the with the psychotronic staff. I'm talking to Kelstrup about mitigating some of the stress here, but I'm concerned these are not isolated incidents. Going to mention it to Alex at the next director's meeting. Okay. Well, we've got the key card, so we might as well use it. Whoa, that's a little bit different than a mimic. Uh huh. Okay, great. Control panels. Many objects on Talus. Okay, so we're absolutely on Talus One. Can be repaired if you have the repair skill and enough spare parts. To repair an object, hold down triangle until the repair is completed. But we don't have the skill. I don't 
like this. Suit repair, med kit, and glue canister. Glue cannon. Hello. Okay, the Transtar glue cannon, the Jellifoam lattice organism obstructor, disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Press R2 to fire it. Press and hold to fire a continuous stream. Okay, so it extinguishes flames, stop electrical arcs, and then we can use it as, as like, stairs to get up to something if we need to. Whoa. Come on. Banana peels and more glue. Yeah, I see Grab it. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Everything you know is about to change. These are all the emails we read. Audio logs, keys, different passwords. Okay. Everything you need to know is about to change. January contacted me again as I reached the foyer of the Neuromod division. An actual Neuromod was placed where the display model used to be. Installing it will help me survive against the Typhon organisms. Right. I'm sure. That's going to be great. I don't know if I can make that jump. I just want to see how this works. Weird. Okay. Okay, so if we hit a direct target, it will harden it. How long does it stay like that, though? Oh, not very long. Favorite's wheel. Okay, hold triangle to open the favorite's wheel and use left, right to select a weapon. And then release it to... Oh, I see. Okay. Lots of weapons, it looks like. Here we go. Press the middle button to open your transcribe and navigate to the Neuromod section. Oh, cool. Oh, so we actually have some choice as to what happens here. It's not just automatically assigned. So, Physician, your knowledge of medical practice increases the effectiveness of medkits to 150%, bypass level 1 security measures on computers and robotic systems. The hacking seems pretty good. Engineering, lift heavy objects with ease and throw objects further. Repair, fix grav shafts, fabricators, recyclers, and spare parts, or with spare parts. And then Security, increase your health to 115 and your stamina to 105. Run, sneak, climb, and sprint 5% faster. I think we're going to do the hacking. Level 1 uh, security measures on computers and robotic systems. Apply it directly to the eye. Oh my god. Ah! Whoa. That's uncomfortable. Oh, that's so uncomfortable. Be dead if it wasn't. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Yeah, please. 
Uh, actually, in here, this we must be able to assign. It looks like that is already assigned, actually, to the bottom one. Okay, so here's an example of something we'd be able to move if we had the leverage. Where's that coming from? Whoa. Okay, that's absolutely the way to do it. Why is this... I'm not even going to ask why that's in there. I'm definitely looking for ways that we can use this to climb. Like, there's this section up top here that I'm kind of interested in. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, we're really low on health, actually. Another transcribe. This is to get to the lobby. I'm curious, can we... Oh, interesting. It's hard to aim it, though, it seems. Like, it doesn't just... stack here as we would expect. It's very strange. Okay, so it's not like a perfect science. Love the advertisements for Neuromods. Everything you know is about to change. Very like uh, Bioshock feel in that regard. Ready for your first real view of the world? Uh, probably not. Okay, we do have suit repair and another med kit, thankfully. Let's go ahead and use this. The suit integrity at the bottom, we can heal up as well. Whoa. We just got two Neuromods right there. So we have two to spend. Knowledge of medis, uh, medical practice increases effectiveness of med kits. Uh, let's do the heavy objects to see if that can get us access to additional places. And then... I think maybe repair. Not a bad idea. Nash Underwood. 
Oh boy. This is the lobby, all right. Human resources pretty well locked down. Never know when crumpled paper might come in handy. Whoa, whoa. Careful. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. Okay. I know you have a lot of questions. We need to get upstairs. Talos 1 is open for you to explore. From the lobby, you can reach other parts of the space station via the bulkhead doors and lifts. You may return to the lobby and other areas you've discovered as often as you like to complete optional objectives. So, it looks like we found quite a few of these um, shotgun Attention. shells. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. I'm interested in this video file. What could that possibly be? Another med kit, thank you. Oh, hold on. Oh, that repair, I think it's on the other side, maybe. Or maybe not. It looks like... Looks like it's back there. That panel as well. Sure we'd find a way in at some point. IT department, of course. High security. We need leverage two to carry that, so... A lot of the stuff in this lobby we would need to access later on once we unlock. A bunch of additional skills. Maintenance only, sales divisions locked. I wonder if we can... Look at that. Whoa, Jesus! Wow. No thanks. <laughs> they got me. Staff lounge looks like it might be busy. Test tube sample. My god. They actually dish out quite a bit of damage, these mimics. Carry computer carts now, that's promising. Bianca Goodwin. Is that on our side? Looks like it is. 
guest and volunteer liaison. Good morning, Talos. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. There's access to the trauma center. Now, what about this food that we've been carrying? Is it possible? Okay, it does restore health. Five health points, five health points. Why not? Restores health by one, cures fear. The wine, that's actually smart. So we can have this fear impact us. Not sure how yet. Okay, volunteer at- oh, we got a new key code for volunteer quarters. Uh, I'm gonna need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. Eleven is a name, I guess? When you get up here, the key code is 252405, not the old number on file. Pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Meeting Gustav. Dr. Igwe. I relayed your previous request and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll see... I'll let you know more when I have more details. The code to your office is 0451. <laughs> of course it is. 0451. So this Dr. Deo Igwe... 0451, by the way, is um, it's in a lot of video games. Um, Deus Ex, Bioshock, a lot of games use it. And it's a reference to Ray Bradbury's book, Fahrenheit 451. It's the temperature at which book paper burns. Uh, it's like, um, it's, a it's actually a really good book. I won't say anything about it. It's like dystopian kind of. Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet with him before the neuromapping mapping procedure. Lightner's visit. Yeah, Igwe showed up. Quiet and polite. He shook Lightner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him. Asked him to sign an album he'd bought, or he'd brought. Lightner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such talent. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. Look at this office. Please move these remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod Div as soon as possible. Principles of Neuroscience. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. So that's where these things are coming from, is like other species. Test subject, I'm trusting you with my brain. This is from Morgan Yu. That's us. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, if the tests don't go well, something happens, let Alex know that I know it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. Okay, so we're totally in on this. Scanning target, no Typhon material detected. No Typhon material detected. <laughs> Whoa, thank you. We can just hang out around this thing. Man, this this place could just have so many little secrets. No password found. What about here? Oh my god, hot boss. Of course. Jason! Mate, screwed the keypad in my office. Have them set to 0451. I'll be in the Sims lab while you need anything for yourself. Okay. We already knew this. Whoops. Are you kidding me? Look at this wall. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. So we're pretty high up here, and now... We are in the experiments. Too far, too fast. 
In Kennedy's second term, the space race reached new heights and, without his support, may have sputtered completely. A succession of moon launches heralded the coming of an accelerated, energetic space program, both within the halls of government and in the public eye. Unusual at the time, especially in contrast to Kennedy's first term, rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets and the United States seemed to be reaching out to space together. Whoa, recycler. Transfer junk. Okay. Material yield. Recyclers can be used to recycle unwanted items into useful materials. That's cool. Synthetic mineral, organic, and exotic material which can be used by fabricators to construct new... Okay. So we put that in the recycler. That's really cool. We get these cubes of material. I don't know what that was. Morgan Sweet. What is this? A fabricator. Operator dispenser. Please select a fabrication plan. You can make a wrench. Infinite licenses. I don't know how we know what to put in there. Each item fabricated consumes some combination of organic, mineral, synthetic, and exotic. Search Talus 1 to find plans and materials. So it looks like we need two of the metal, right? And it needs to be in that specific slot, too. Organic, exotic, mineral, and synthetic. So I think that one is mineral. We only have one. Teleconferencing card. Whoa. Hacking still allows you to bypass security systems protecting keypads, workstations, and security stations. Higher skill levels you can hack into robotic systems like turrets and operators. To hack, use L to quickly navigate the bitstream to reach the target. Once inside the target, press the prompted button to complete the hack. Okay, interesting. We probably didn't need to hack in. Got the plan you requested, it's in your safe. Three Nero mods. The cannon ammo fabrication plan, weapon upgrade kits. Okay. To use a weapon kit, select the weapon you wish to upgrade in your inventory, press triangle. Then choose upgrade. And you upgrade. Okay. Handling, incapacitation rate. Reduce glue required. Yes, that would be helpful. Nice. We don't have any more kits. That's fine. Nero mods, though. Do we have any, like, level 2 that we can get? Suit modification. Extra inventory space. Break down equipment in your inventory into spare parts. Recycling yield and stamina cost of wrench attacks. Enter a state of combat focus for 10 seconds, which time slows around you and actions cost 50% mana or enemies long to detect you. Let's do this one. Oh, we have to equip it into the favorites wheel? Interesting. I 
That's very strange, but okay. You made it from January. This is from Micah. I still don't know what happened. I put it behind me, but there's no reason we can't be civil. You passed me in the hall today, and you looked through... You looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me. We can... We can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together. Do not disturb. Morgan, as requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite and crew quarters, and the supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they get to you all right, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort in your office. Okay. Now, let's see if we can't check this video. Watch me, Morgan. This LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone. Oh, God. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator. Yeah, that's a good a sign. Sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a Neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. Yeah, we read that. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well... Seems like that's what we've been doing. That's exactly what Alex did. Yeah. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Say it. No! You gotta be kidding me. I thought I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, uh -oh. but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. You mean sit tight. Now we can't even trust our brother? Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Well... did it okay thanks for completing the prey deno opening hour are you ready to unravel the mysteries of talus one your mind the station earth itself nothing is safe from the alien threat you are mankind's last hope pre-order now to get the exclusive cosmonaut shotgun starter pack including morgan Yu's family heirloom margrave shotgun and tools to fight threats aboard talos i gotta say like having not researched a lot about prey before going into this demo like the story is really interesting to me um I think the combat is a bit strange. Like, I think maybe with different weapons, it might be better. Um, the guns, like, they don't really... I guess, to be fair, we've only used this goo, this goo thing um, and a wrench. But um, I'm interested to see where the combat goes with it. It's got a very Bioshocky vibe. You can see, like, the Dishonored influence as well in the art style. I, it's cool. It's cool. I'm intrigued. I'm really interested in this story. I think it's got a really cool idea. And um, I'd love to see if they can pull this one off. That'd be really great. Uh, thank you guys again for watching uh, the demo. You can get it yourself on PS4, or Xbox One. Um, the game's coming out May 5th. And uh, yeah, thanks again for uh, Bethesda and Arcane to sponsor the video. I appreciate that. And uh, we'll look forward to trying this out on release. So we'll talk to you guys then. See you next time.